Hi guys, uh, Vicki here. I just wanted to give you guys a chance to get the lesson that uh, we were going to have this week. Uh, I know things are a little bit different and uh, it's going to be a little bit challenging, but together we can get through this. It's going to be a fun uh, couple weeks, and uh, but we're Grace kids and uh, there's no challenge too big for us because we have God on our side, right? So here we go. Let's go through today's uh lesson so the first thing i want to ask you guys is um what made you laugh this week and um where did you see god and where did you help somebody that's what we usually talk about when we first start out in the children's church and uh so let's comment on that if you're on facebook go ahead and reply to that in the comment section and we can talk back and forth and we can each reply to each other the next thing I want to tell you guys is that if you have a phone, a tablet, or something that you can get apps on, there is a deep blue kids app that looks like this, the little button that you push. And if you go on it, you can see the video that, um, that we would usually play in children's church. So you can keep up with and see what the video would be. I would show it to you on here, but we can't, there's copyright, so I can't. But it'll look like this. It'll show you uh, Jesus washes feet, which is actually our um, our Bible lesson, or our Bible verse for this month. It's, um, if I, your Lord and your teacher have washed your feet, then you too must wash each other's feet. John 13, 14. I'm sure a lot of you read that with me, or said that with me, didn't you? So, um, if you uh, go to Children's Church on Sunday mornings, I have your address and I sent you guys some mail. It came in an envelope like this and it had a, a letter and it explained a little bit of what we were doing. And it also had our activity sheet for the week. If you did not get one and you would like one, please let me know. Either call me or give me a personal message so that I can get your address. Um, and I will make sure you get one. So next week when we do this, you can follow along. So let's get started. Our lesson this week is from um, John 13, 1 through 17. And it's about Jesus washing the feet. Um, Jesus is standing with or sitting with all his uh, disciples at a table and um, they're all hanging out there and he decides to get up and uh, his disciples just kind of look at him and he he really doesn't say anything he just gets a towel and he gets a bowl of water and he he starts to go over to um he goes over to peter and um he he goes to start to wash peter's feet and peter says um what are you doing and jesus says i'm gonna wash your feet and, and Peter said, I don't want you to wash my feet. My feet are dirty. Um, besides, it's the job of your servant to wash, to wash my feet. Why are you doing it? You're our teacher. And uh, Jesus said, it's important that I wash your feet. So Peter let Jesus wash his feet. And uh, what else could you do? It's Jesus. You really can't tell him no, can you? And uh, so Jesus washed Peter's feet. And then he went around and he washed everybody else's feet at the table. When he got done, he simply took off the towel and he put the water away and cleaned the bowl and he put it away and he sat back down with them and he asked them, he said, um, do you know why I washed your feet today? And they really didn't. So they, they said, no, no, we don't really know why. And he said, well, um, he said, I wanted to show you God's love. He said, uh, he said, so even though I'm your teacher, I did the job of a servant and I washed your feet. He said, I want to just serve you um, just like others. And helping others is a way to serve God. You know, when we choose to follow God or we choose to follow Jesus, we agree to follow his example. And so what Jesus was doing is he was setting an example for his disciples about serving others. Jesus knew his time was going to be short. Um, he knew that he had to do things and he had to do things extremely to prove a point to his disciples. He had to, he had to do things as an example to teach them how they should be living. So that's what he was doing. Jesus commandment was, um, to love one another. It wasn't, it wasn't an easy commandment. Sometimes it's not 
not easy to love somebody, especially when they're mean to us, or wash their feet when they're super dirty. You know they all wore sandals and they walked on those dirty streets, but he did it anyway because Jesus was serving others. Um, he's, he, he did it out of love, and that's what he's teaching us. Jesus washed their feet because he loved them. He set an example of humility and service, and that's what we're supposed to follow. If you look at your, your activity sheet um, and look at page two, maybe on page one, maybe your family can read this together. You have a narrator, a Peter, and a Jesus. Maybe you guys can read it together over dinner. That would be fun. But on page two, it tells you that being a servant leader means doing something for someone else, even when you're not asked to. It might be hard to do the right thing, but it's important to follow the example of Jesus and to take care of others. It tells you that to some ways that you could yourself be a servant. Um, it gives you some ideas at church. Um, you could help guests find seats or share bulletins. Um, you could wait on friends during snack time and help them share snack. Or you can help your Sunday school teacher. At home, you could help uh, with cleaning a sibling's room or you can help take care of your pet. At school, you could let each other go, let somebody go in front of you in front of the lunch line, or you could sharpen pencils for your teacher. There's all kinds of things you could do. If you got a letter from me, I sent you one of these little wet naps. That's for a mission that I want you to do. Since we can't meet in the classroom, and so you can't tell me the uh, Bible verse for the lunch bunch, I gave you a mission. With that wet nap, that'll look like this when you pull it out. Um, I want you to pick somebody in your family and wash their feet with that wet nap. You only have to do one, but while you're doing that, say the Bible verse that we have this month. And then when you're done, I want you to trace your foot and write down whose foot you washed for me and then send it back to me in that envelope. I hope you enjoyed um, my version of Children's Church online for this week. Um, and I hope that we can do some more. Maybe Wednesday, I'll try to do our Grace Kids Wednesday night service. And uh, let's get creative and see what we can do. And I hope you have a great week.